Hi, this is Nisha Millet, Indian Olympian for Decathlon India. Today I'm going to teach you in this video how to steer float in a shallow or a deep pool. This is a water safety skill, it's a life saving skill. Very important that you know how to steer float once you move into deeper water. The best way to start practicing this, learn in a shallow pool, there's no problem at all. We're going to learn something called doggy paddle today. If you know doggy paddle, you see when dogs get into a pool or any water body, they start moving their paws and then they move forward and they're always very high in the water. How do you do that as an adult or as a child? The first thing that you could do is learn how to do this with noodles. So noodles just help you with the flotation. I'm going to show you how you do this. You put both the noodles. If you're above 50 kgs in weight, you need two noodles. If you're a child or someone who weighs less than 50 kgs, one noodle is more than enough. Make sure that the noodles go underneath, you put your armpits and then get your hands over the noodles. Remember to keep your fingers nice and relaxed and start pulling one at a time. This is also an alternate arm action. If you notice, I start out in front, I pull backwards and downwards and I go all the way up to almost my belly button. The difference between this and the freestyle arm action, I never lift my hand out of the water. So once you have a continuous slow movement, and you're pushing down and back, then you decide that you need to lift your legs up. The good part about doggy paddle, your head can stay above the water throughout. Now I'm going to start doing a slow kick with my legs. Unlike the freestyle kick when you swim, your leg doesn't have to break the surface. It can be just above the water. If you notice, I'm just doing a small kick up and down and there's absolutely no coordination. It's just alternate arm movement and alternate leg movement. My head is up, so I continue to breathe in through my mouth and breathe out through my nose. If I want to have forward movement, I start pulling the water towards my belly button and out again. Imagine you're cycling a bike. That's pretty much what you're doing when you're doing a doggy paddle. Very easy with the noodle because it keeps your body nice and high above the water. Once you're confident doing this with the noodle, remove them, try the same thing, but this time try and keep your chin at the water level. The higher you are on the water, the tougher it is, the tougher you have to kick and you expend a lot of energy. Since this is a life-saving skill, we want to do it as relaxed as possible. Even though my head is out of the water, I'll continue to breathe in through my mouth and breathe out through my nose. If you notice there's absolutely no sound, I continue to breathe in. If you ever have a problem when you're swimming and you're swimming in a deep pool, you could also shout for help. Very important skill for every swimmer, both a kid or an adult to master. And remember, only when you're confident and you're doing it in the shallow end, you would actually take it to the deep end. Ensure there's a lifeguard, a strong swimmer, or someone who can assist you and make sure that you're swimming next to the wall always. It's a very important life-saving skill. You've now learned how to doggy paddle and keep yourself afloat in a shallow or a deep pool. Now that you've learned how to doggy paddle, just keep swimming.